My name's Steve Aiken. Uh, I work with this organisation, the EPRO8 Challenge, and what's happening here today is the students have arrived and they are doing engineering, problem solving and innovation. They have a series of challenges to go through. They build things from all the equipment down here below me to satisfy the criteria for those challenges. They're not told what to do or how to do it. They just uh, creatively and inventively explore and discover with the equipment. And when they've satisfied the criteria, they push the red button, uh, lights flash and music comes on and I come around and judge to see if they've uh, achieved what they've set out to do. Well they're using mathematics and context, they're using lots of practical skills. Uh, when they've got their hands on the equipment everything sort of comes uh, into focus, especially uh, the design process, the engineering process and the maths they use. And you'll notice uh, for two and a half hours they're, they're nowhere else, they're right in the pocket. They're concentrating. Um, parents that come along are quite amazed to see how long and hard they work, uh, how they're not distracted, how they use all these really interesting soft communication skills when they're in the group, and what they actually uh, achieve with the electronics and everything like that. Skills that they'll carry on way throughout you know, life, and a lot of them uh, realise that uh, engineering could be a, a career path for them, and it's what turns their brain on, and they're excited about it, so we mention that, and they, they can see that there's a path for them to get involved in it early on, so it's, it's powerful stuff.